G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today's a bit of a special one for all those people affected by the storms in Eastern Australia, uh, particularly those on the Gold Coast, because I actually had someone reach out to me, uh, Greg from the Gold Coast saying, I should give some information to people about what a resilient um, solar battery system looks like for people who have are connected to the grid and what are some of the considerations uh, when choosing one. Well, I'm gonna show you a few. So here's one just here behind me. Uh, this is a, a system from a company called Sofar. Uh, it's a hybrid system. Now, what does hybrid mean? It means it uses both the grid, solar and battery as a unit. Now this is an all-in-one system. One of the advantages there is <laughs> it's all-in-one, it's easy to install, uh, it's compact. In fact, this unit's amazingly compact. So what are some of the considerations when choosing a um, hybrid system or a battery backup system is really what you want it to do. Now, uh, there's gonna be some essential things. Generally, people want lights, uh, they want communication, uh, and they want food and water. And so <laughs> those things are pretty critical. Now, many of the uh, hybrid systems have limited backup capability. Now, when I say limited, it might sound impressive. They might say, well, it's five kilowatts of backup, but a house can draw a lot more than five kilowatts of power, particularly if you've got air conditioning loads. So being able to have some circuits that are backed up while others are grid only is a good choice when choosing how to install one of these systems. So your installer should be able to segregate your switchboard to essential and non-essential loads and make sure that those non-essential loads don't include things like water heating, uh, <laughs> uh, air conditioning, things that really aren't non-essential uh, compared to things like food, water, light, and communication. So this is an all-in-one system from so far. Uh, the batteries in the bottom there, there's five kilowatt hours in each battery, so that gives you a total of 10 kilowatt hours. Now, what does that mean? Well, it depends on what you want to run. A, a typical modern fridge that's quite efficient will use about one to two kilowatt hours per day. So this could run a fridge for, without any solar input at all, for something like, you know, five to 10 days, which is pretty impressive. But of course, there's other loads in a house. So you need to really um, optimize what you're gonna use when there is an extended blackout. But one of the advantages of a hybrid system is it can charge its batteries from solar. And so if you've got uh, a decent sized solar system, maybe you've got six or seven kilowatts of solar on the roof, and even after a storm, when the weather looks pretty crap and overcast, it will still charge your batteries uh, to some level. So you'll be getting renewable input uh, to recharge those batteries and really extend uh, the, 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 um, the output of that system. So let's have a look at a couple more. So what we're looking at here is a combination of a three-phase hybrid inverter from a company called Fronius. This is their Simo Gen 24, and a battery system, and it's a stackable battery, so you can scale it up to different capacities depending on how big a battery system you need from BYD. So this is a combo. Um, it's still a hybrid system in the sense that uh, it can charge the battery from solar, it can charge it from the grid, it can support loads, and it has backup. Uh, well, this is a three-phase inverter. Now, three-phase, don't get too excited, is still only, it's a 10 kilowatt three-phase, it's only 3.3 kilowatts per phase. Now, most homes, most of the things you plug into a PowerPoint are single phase. Really, it's only some of those industrial level loads like big air conditioners that are three-phase or maybe an EV charger. So um, you've really only got 3.3 kilowatts per phase. So you've got to be a little bit careful when you choose what you're going to put on backup circuits. Now, the, one of the special powers of the Fronius Gen 24 is it can actually provide backup without a battery. Now, don't get too excited now. <laughs> it's only going to be single phase with the built-in PV point. That's this uh, single power point that you can connect to it. So you have a single phase backup of only 3.3 kilowatts but without a battery. Now, how does that work? Well, if you have solar and if it's sunny, it will create AC power. But I really think this is just in a very, very emergency kind of design. You still would want a battery so you've got power at nighttime. So this is the Fronius BYD combo, and these are scalable. Uh, these batteries go up to, I think, about 22 kilowatt hours if you get the full stack, which is up here somewhere, uh, in, in units. So a really nice system. So let's check out another system. So this is a bit different. This is a 10 kilowatt single phase inverter hybrid. Now, uh, we don't actually have a battery connected to it at the moment, but it's capable of having a battery. It's from a company called GE. You've probably heard of them. They're a very big brand. Uh, and it's 
made by Goodwe. Now, Goodwe are really popular in Australia as a uh, inverter company, and they also make batteries. So they make a battery that's compatible with this unit. This unit, being 10 kilowatts single phase, means it can power a lot of loads in backup. 10 kilowatts is a more reasonable size if you want to run a whole house, but still be cautious on those big loads. For instance, once again, big air conditioners, water heaters, <laughs> God forbid, slab heating. Uh, those things are just too big to run off a uh, backup system. But one of the nice things about this unit here is it's got uh, four MPPTs. Now, what on earth does that mean? It means you can have four different areas of your roof with different numbers of panels on each. So it really suits some of those modern homes with a lot of uh, different facets to the roof area. So there you go, the GE 10 kilowatt hybrid. Let's check out one more. What you're looking at here is a system from a company called SIG Energy. Kind of the new kid on the block here in Australia, but this company has got some very deep roots in terms of the experience of their R&D. Now this product is a little bit different from some of the others I've shown you. Uh, it's, for a start, it's a hybrid inverter. So uh, the, the bit at the top there with the little circle is the inverter. It takes um, solar input, it takes grid, and it comes in a whole range of sizes. In single phase, from um, like five kilowatts up to, I think about 15. In three phase, from five kilowatts up to 25 kilowatts of power. So you can do quite big systems uh, with this unit. The batteries at the bottom are eight kilowatt hours each, and that's pretty good. So I've got two of them, that's 16 kilowatt hours. That's gonna run my fridge for a week, no trouble. And the bit at the top here is something called a gateway. Now what's special about a gateway is it means you can actually run the whole house through this gateway. Uh, it can control some loads as well, so determine what it's going to back up. Uh, it can also take a generator input as well. So if you want the ultimate reliability, solar, battery, grid, and generator. Now this is a winning arrangement for resilience, is to have that triple uh, source, uh, solar battery generator, um, when there is a grid outage. So SIG Energies, uh, this is their SIG store system. Now I've got, <laughs> actually I said it was the last one, but there's one more if uh, money's no object. Let's check this one out. Okay, this is a big system. In fact, if you wanted to have resilience for a small community, like half a dozen houses, something like this would do it. Uh, so this is a 160 kilowatt hour battery pack and it's connected to six inverters in three phase. There's an awful lot of them, <laughs> right? Uh, they go on and on and on and on. Uh, and this can run a, a small village. In fact, here at the Smart Energy Lab, it actually does run our seven homes, uh, accommodation, teaching space, uh, nine EV chargers, including a 50 kilowatt DC charger. So it is possible to have very big resilient backup systems. It also has a 22 kVA diesel generator for ultimate backup if there's not enough solar. So there's a range of resilient options from the modest uh, domestic system up to what you could call a CNI, commercial industrial system. Anyway, I hope you do okay through the, these tough times with bad weather, but remember uh, there are solutions. Renewable energy not only gives you resilience, it also lowers the cost of electricity. Anyway, check ya.